going on out there in the Raider Nation. This is Raider Rob from Raider Fan Radio and also the founder and the creator of the Raider Nation, established 1996. Uh, I'm here today to uh, do a quick check-in um, under the Raider Fan Radio banner. Uh, this is not one of our regularly scheduled shows. We will get back to that soon, and uh, we'll have the full crew, uh, Black Hole Steph, along with Stoner Dude, uh, with me. I'm here to um, acknowledge what a lot of you may already know, and also uh, to pay tribute in some way, and also kind of uh, summarize a little bit uh, the life of uh, a man that we lost that's very important uh, to the Raider Nation, uh, founder of the Black Hole in Oakland, and uh, vision for a lot of the things that became of the Black Hole uh, in the ensuing years after its uh, founding in 1996, along with his friends Dave Monzo, who was uh, passed away a few years ago, Harry Krause, and Junebug August, John Martinez, Tim Cunningham, Richie, Harry Krause, um, Joel Maldonado, and uh, so many others uh, founded uh, the Black Hole and uh, made it a great fan entity and a phenomenon and uh, changed the fan culture of professional sports. Um, Black Hole Rob Rivera, uh, if you weren't aware, passed away this past Monday, September 20th. Um, and the cause of death is, uh, you know, being attributed to COVID-19. I personally don't know. Unfortunately, I hadn't spoken to Rob uh, in over 10 years. Um, but uh, you've heard us mention him and me speak of him on our show. And I love Rob Rivera. This is a very sad loss, very hard loss, very untimely loss, and particularly under the circumstances that we're in. Uh, it's just, um, it's overwhelming. And to find out in the course of the last two weeks that unfortunately he had lost his mother. She had passed, Mama Rivera, uh, about a week or so ago, from what I understand, uh, it's just a double a double hit for the Rivera family. Thoughts are always with his family, uh, his sister Donna Rivera, condolences to you, to Rachel, um, to the children, Naomi, and uh, his youngest daughter, who I'm so sorry, young lady, I can't remember your name right now, but uh, our condolences to all of you, and of course, to the Rivera family as a whole. Um, and I just wanted to say, you know, uh, Rob uh, lived the life of uh, a great Raider fan. Uh, he was also equally a great husband, uh, a great father, very doting father. You know, we were, you know, together and became friends and associates before cell phones. So Rob was uh, a man that walked around with pictures of his daughter with me, you know, real picture. Uh, and he just loved uh, being a father and everything that he was doing um, and wanting to establish with his vision of the black hole uh, once it got incorporated um, was uh, in a great deal to set up a future um, for his daughters and for his family. Uh, um, so anyway, uh, I just want to say you know, um, I thank all of you over the years that supported the Black Hole. I thank all of you out there over the years who, you know, supported Black Hole Rob, all his endeavors, uh, all of you that, you know, um, just showed him love and, uh, you know, and just gave us all love for what we uh, had done with the Black Hole and, of course, acknowledging what he had created. Uh, with the black hole. Um, he's a visionary, you know, he's a football fan, like, you know, almost no other. Uh, you know, it kind of gets misconstrued in this thing that we're just a bunch of loud fans screaming and yelling and whatever, but in the top of being those type of fans, we're also, um, you know, uh, business savvy. And also, um, Rob was uh, very much a football junkie, you know, much like myself. And, uh, 
meeting him and all the guys and the Black Hole to Core guys when I did and joining up with them, uh, it was like being released in the football heaven and more importantly, a Raider heaven. Uh, Rob knew football. I spent so many hours talking to that man uh, because we would, of course, infamously start tailgating the night before a game. So that would bleed into the game. And then, you know, the Black Hole tailgate, which became a big popular uh, thing for fans to come to with the band and what have you, uh, that emerged and evolved. And then going into the game, of course, over the years, uh, through that whole course of that day uh, until about 7, 8 o'clock after we broke everything down sometimes at night. Man, just football, football, and uh, before the game, our pregame pepping and going over, you know, what we wanted to see the team do and all that. The team, you know, stunk back then. So uh, we really were, you know, strategizing not only, you know, what we were going to go in and scream at the Chargers and scream at the Broncos and Chiefs and whoever else was in town, but also just once the black hole became what it became, Rob was very cognizant of uh, the profile that we were emitting out to the world. And so um, sharing those times and sharing football, like I said, new football down in that black hole 105 in between plays and, you know, uh, uh, calling defenses and anticipating plays and anticipating where the Raiders would screw up next and all that. Uh, on par, Rob would be right a lot of the time. Uh, he really knew football. Rob could have been a you know, football coach somewhere, really, X's and O's. And, uh, you know, it gets overlooked sometimes with uh, serious fans like us, like we don't know the game. We know the game. You know, we know the game. And Rob Rivera knew football and loved the Raiders. Um, you know, I met Rob in 1996 in the black hole. Was at the game with my cousin Fly at the time, and we were just roaming around. It was the second year back. And uh, we eventually, around the third quarter, uh, we're on the second deck, and we looked down, and I saw all these guys near the goalpost in the south end zone just – animated and making a lot of noise and jumping up and down and this was after the Raiders had returned and it was already crazy and wild in the Coliseum anyway but uh they just stood out and I could tell they was some homeboys you know I could tell they was some SAs and some homeboys from right here in the Oakland you know in the town um and uh so me and my boy uh Fly my cousin made our way down and I ended up sitting behind them and I started screaming and joining in because they were real vocal and what have you. And one of the guys recognized me from my voice on the radio. I forget who it was, but I ended up meeting Rob and Dave and Harry and John and all of them that day. And Rob invited me that next year um, it was the Colts Raiders game. I think we were 6-0 and under Mike White. Y'all remember that? And then we blew it. Well, anyway, uh, Rob invited me to join them. I think we exchanged numbers the old fashioned way on paper and uh, told me to give him a call, and uh, I did. And subsequently, that next summer, I was a part of the softball game that they had every year at Run Run Jones softball tournament and uh, ended up officially joining the Black Hole. And I got here uh, the original card that I was given, and this was a subsequent one that came a little bit later. But uh, I was official, you know, and I was so proud when I got this card I had talked to him a few times over the off season. He was telling me about all the expectations and the ideas he had and, you know, would I want to be a part of it, you know, helping get it out there because I was on the radio at the time. And I was like, yes, of course, you know, of course. And it was just so beautiful to be at the beginnings of something that you could feel was going to be, um, was going to be something big. And Rob had that vision, you know, and one of his great visions, uh, that I don't know if he ever got to come to truly fruition, but I think it came close, uh, was that he wanted the place to be black. You hear me on the show talking about wear black, wear black. I get that from Black Hole Rock. He was just staunch about wearing black, wearing black, wearing black. And his thing about that was if the overhead cameras and the blimp and all that that, you know, tape the games with the broadcasting, if it looked down into the black hole, from above, it would look like a black hole if everybody had black on. And Rob preached that, and he would harass people in the parking lot, you know, you put black on, and all that. Anybody in the hole that came down there in white, we'd eject them, you know, back before the days when they got all sensitive about that and uh, being politically correct. Uh, yeah, I was member 00006. That was my member number, so I'm a real original. 
Um, and in meeting Rob and learning about him and everything, man, one of the great things I want to share with y'all was a story he told me, which is uh, within the black hole, uh, you know, a real infamous story. But, he, you know, we talk about how you became a Raider fan and all that, which is custom with us. Um, I asked Rob, and he told me the story of when he was a youngster one time, watching the game with the great Robert Rivera Sr., his father. Um, the Raiders were at halftime against whoever they were playing. And Rob was trying to go outside and play with his friends who were outside playing in the street and all that. And his father, you know, snapped at him kind of was like, hey, you know, you know, hey, you know, hey, mira, you know, where are you going? <laughs> you know, and Rob said he looked at his father and he told him, you know, and his father was his world. You know, he loved his father. His father was his hero, was his, was his idol, you know, and um, so, um, Rob said, I'm going outside to play with my friends. And his father said, no. He said, you either with us or you with them. <laughs> and Rob said, you know, he tells different variations of the story, but the main thread of it scared the crap out of me. And uh, he looked at his father, he looked outside, and he says, I said, I better go back over there with my father. So he went back over there, and he said that was really what supplanted him being a Raider fan. You know, it was that day, and, uh, and there was no way around it. He was going to be a Raider fan. His father was uh, not going to let him do anything else football Sunday. And, uh, you know, there was the old saying that Rob also started was that, uh, what was it, no kids, don't get pregnant. You know, your wife or your spouse, don't get them pregnant during football season. You know, no babies during football season, you know, and things like that. He had a great sense of humor. He was funny, proud Puerto Rican, man, proud. And it used to tease me all the time and black hole stuff and a few of us uh, in the black hole. And he used to try to get me to swear I was Dominican. He didn't want to believe that I was just, you know, black American from East Oakland. And it was a running joke with us. And I would always tease him, you ain't never been to New York. You know, that's where the Puerto Ricans really, you ever been to New York? Da, 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 da. And, you know, I'd be talking to people or something. And Rob would come by and, you know, grab my coat or whisper in my ear. You, you know he's Dominican, right? You know, you know this one's Dominican. Ray Rob's Dominican, he won't tell you. You know, or you know, just out of nowhere, be talking to somebody, Rob. You'd be like, "What? You know, why don't you tell him you're Dominican?" You know? <laughs> but uh, yes, you know, he, he was. He had a great sense of humor. Uh, he's a feisty cat too, and he could be, you know, have his moments. And me and Rob had our differences over the years, man. And uh, you know, I'm so saddened that I wasn't able to reconcile with Rob, just to be able to talk to him again. Um, I went up to the, Mara uh, the Westgate not long ago because he had gotten into promotions with the Black Hole and doing some fan get-togethers and gatherings and conventions and stuff. And uh, I went up there a few months ago in July, I think it was, to go see him and hopefully run into him and, and uh, talk to him and, you know, just try to re reconcile and apologize to him for some of the things, you know, I'd said and done over the years and also just to... Uh, you know, reconnect with my friend. He was my friend, loved him to death. Um, you know, please honor him in your own way. If you know Black Hole Rob, if not, uh, on our next show, we'll be expounding some more. We also want to get Stoner Dude in so he can uh, give his uh, remembrances and expressions about Rob because he uh, knew Rob very well. And uh, Rob was the one that okayed. He told us, you know, get Raiderhead to come play over there, you know. And uh, so they had their own little relationship, too. So we'll definitely go a little more in depth in remembering Rob. But uh, it was just so fresh in my heart that I just had to come out and uh, just remember my friend. And uh, to tell all of you that the black hole uh, really was represented well in his hands. Uh, he understood so much the value of the profile the media attention that we eventually were getting because it started out where it was just friends going out there, you know, when they first came back and that's how it was, you know, intended to be him and his buddies and a few other associated people. But in Rob's mind, he was thinking down the line, just like Dave, you know, they were thinking down the line, something bigger, but you really couldn't see it yet. And then when it hit, it hit like Jimi Hendrix, man. I mean, it hit, you know, and uh, before you knew it, we had this new responsibility to uh, uphold this public image. And, you know, I always was respectful of that. As wild as crazy as I could be, you know, Rob sometimes would have to pull my coat, tell me to tone it down a little bit or whatever, because we then became conscious of the public's watching us. 
And Rob was big on being an example for kids, being an example for other Raider fans. He understood there was an ambassadorship that we were carrying um, now that we had this attention being brought upon us, uh, this God-blessed attention because so many friends, so many associates have come from this black hole thing um, that uh, I would cherish till my days are done. Um, but yeah, just wanted to come here and say that to you folks, man. Um, you know, and let you know that, you know, Black Hole Rob Rivera uh, will be loved, will be missed, and uh, will always, always be a part of all of our lives that had our turn at being out there as Raider fans from 1995 all the way until uh, the late 2010s and until the team left. Um, you know, so hello to all my Black Hole brethren out there, Cheesy, Michael Anthony, Harry, you know, your family, Richie, Tim, you know, the Monzos, of course, uh, you know, Steve Dominguez, uh, I mean, Steve Lopez and, and Janet, and, you know, everybody out there. Is it Dominguez or Lopez? It's Dominguez, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, Black Hole Hitler, uh, Satan, Black Hole Satan, Doug, you know, all of you, you know, all of you, Skeletor, wherever you are, um, you know, we all share, you know, it's lost together. I know we do. And I miss you guys. And I love you. I love you, Rob Rivera. I thank you, particularly when you stood by me during that tough time I was having in my life back in the late 90s. And you stood by me. You, you, you understood what was going on. And, you know, as much as I had become kind of a pariah, you, you welcomed me back with open arms. You stood by me. You wrote me when I was locked down. And then when I came back home, you told me that I could come right back to the black hole. And that was beautiful. And I appreciate you, man. Uh, I love you, Rob. And I thank you. God bless you, Rachel. God bless you, Naomi. God bless you, Donna. God bless you, little one. And God bless the whole Rivera family. Um, I love Rob. And uh, thank you for sharing and allowing him uh, to, to be with us and for us to share a big part of his life with him. Appreciate it. I, I know it was tough, uh, but uh, man, he loved the Raiders and he loved that black hole. It was his life. It was his life. And so we will honor it and respect it for here on out, forever and a day. Rest in silver and black, black hole Rob. And I love you. I think um, I have with me right here. Uh, black hole step, beautiful black hole. I think she might want to say something real quick uh, to everybody. Go ahead. She's having a tough time with this. Her and Rob are very close to. And uh, and we'll we'll talk more on our show. Um, there's too much to say now, but everybody out there um, in the Raider Nation in the black hole, we know. And I uh, love you guys. We'll see you soon. God bless you all. Black Hole for Life, rest in silver and black, Rob Rivera. Love you.